Hello YouTube, today I welcome you to a very laggy Kerbal Space Program. Um, in this, I'm essentially, well I mean you can probably tell just by looking, that uh, we're spinning around very fast. And if I move the camera a little bit, you'll notice that we're actually a ring. And, uh, well, let's just go back to automatic camera view and you'll see what is actually happening rather than <laughs> the crazy thing that I was showing you to start off with. Basically, it's a gravity ring, as you may know. You may know what these are. Basically, they use centripetal or centrifugal force, as you may know it, um, to actually um, pr provide artificial gravity. And uh, you can also see there's a hole in there. That's where you get in. And it's essentially, you know, it's, it's um, like a little space station. There is, you know, you can go inside, and I'll show you that in a minute. But the first thing I'd like to show you, if we go back to chase view, because that's the easiest way to do this, um, and you may have seen at the start of the video. Uh, I think that's there. It's kind of hard to see because of the light. There it is. There we go. So you can see we're actually getting somewhere between 0 0.05 and 0 0.15 uh, Gs of acceleration. That's it. Or, you know, it, it, it's essentially, uh, zero, let's call it 0 0.1 Gs. And that's um, approximately what the uh, gravity feels like on the moon. So that means that we should actually, if we we're inside this ring, be feeling a you know a reasonable amount of gravity. So anyway, let's go and test that theory then. So I've got a rover in here. You can't actually run about with a Kerbal because if you try and do that, uh, what happens is the Kerbal just gets stuck on this wall. He can't walk on it obviously because the Kerbal Space Program doesn't see it as a planet. But anyway, you can see we can you know move about a little bit in here. It's a bit cramped, but you can see we drive around it absolutely fine although the frames a second is quite bad and because it's not that much gravity it's still you know not and the rover isn't perfect it's not perfectly balanced although that said it does work reasonably well and uh, obviously if Kerbal Space Program was optimized a bit better and wasn't uh, you know everything wasn't so wobbly then actually I think this would work quite nicely and I could probably make it a bit bigger but I couldn't really do that now because the part count would be too high Anyway, um, basically I just made this video to show you my <laughs> creation and uh, talk to you a bit about uh, artificial gravity and things like that. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video. If you haven't seen Hot Gaming's or Harv's uh, series on this, then you should totally check it out. It's a really awesome set of videos, it's very interesting and he's very good at explaining that kind of thing. So um, yeah, that's what this is about. I thought I'd add to that a little bit by making my own sort of take on a artificial gravity ring and I hope you liked it and uh, yeah it'd also be interesting if you know you've ever tried to make things like this then if you could say something about them in the comments below as well so as I said thanks for watching and have a nice day